Hi, my name is Zarifi. I'm a junior at Westside. <laughs> Sorry about that. And my poem is called Advice for the Trans Boys Who Can't Get Out of Bed. Step one, open your eyes. Open your eyes and remember that you have a whole day ahead of you. Step two, remember that you are loved. Think of one person who couldn't live without you. You are valid, you are wonderful, you are beautiful, you are loved. Step three, take a shower. When you're in the shower, remind yourself that the body that you are washing is not who you really are. It is merely a shell that you will crack one day. Step four, look in the mirror. Take a good, long look into your eyes. No matter if they are green, blue, brown, hazel, notice the colors are twisting into a beautiful pupil. Step five, remember step two. Remember your friends, how they, see, how they look when they see you, the joy they find in spending time with you, the love they feel for you. Step six, get dressed. Squeeze your body into a binder that restricts your breathing, knowing that others are doing the same at that exact moment. Remind yourself that one day, that cursed piece of fabric will no longer be needed. Step seven, go to school. When you walk through the doors of your building, ignore the stares that seem to never end from your fellow classmates that can't figure out what you are. Ignore your teachers and fellow classmates that dismiss your pronouns. Step eight, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom you know you belong in. When those piercing stares find you again, simply look forward, and if they lay a finger on you, remind them that you are a person too. When you exit the bathroom, remember step two. Remember that your parents love you. Remember that your family loves you. Even if they don't understand you, they see you and they love you. Step nine, go to, go, to, go to lunch. Go to the cafeteria, find anyone you know, and enjoy your break. This is the time when your pronouns will be used. This is the time you know you have support. This is the time you know you are loved. Step 10, go to whatever stupid classes finish out your day. Try your best to pay attention to the teacher that is looking out for your best interest. If this becomes difficult, remember step two. Step 11, go home. Walk through the door of your house and remind yourself that you did it. You went to school, went to all your classes, took a shower, got dressed, ate lunch, and most importantly, you woke up. And if step two is difficult for you, know that I hear you, I see you, I understand you. Know that even though I may never meet you, I still love you. Thank you.